Um, now, tell me more about some of the work for children, for children's theatre that you did in Saskatchewan, in Regina. Um, what would you like to know? No, oh, just some of the... <laughs> um, the, the uh, we did... Um, uh, well, I, th I think um, there were some really nice, uh, interesting things. That, the the theater companies that went on tour uh, toured through all kinds of uh, of little tiny towns, mm -hmm. um, and sometimes reserves. Mm -hmm. um, you did a play about racism once too. Didn't you? Uh, we did. Uh, we did a play about. Um, it was called the Underground Lake, mm -hmm. um, which uh, uh, that was an interesting experience. The, uh, the first production, I, the first performance I went to, uh, the, it was there's undergrounders and overgrounders. There's a whole civilization that, but they hate each other and they're afraid of each other. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, in one of the opening scenes, uh, one of the characters say it describes the the world underground. You've never been there, but you know they're there. You can sometimes hear them. And all of a sudden, there was a sound. And I couldn't figure out where it was coming from. And I looked at it, and all of the children were doing this very subtly in front of, uh, in front, in front of the actors. Uh, it was hmm. just sort of that that kind of... It must have been wild. Oh, it sent chills down my, yeah. my neck, you know. Yeah. Um, I w in, uh, also, there was an interesting difference in perceptions. Like, um, we would get art drawings back from the various classes that had seen the play. Right. Um, and from city schools and small town schools, you'd get a picture of the characters in the play doing whatever it was that they do. Mm -hmm. uh, but on, from some of the reserves, we got a picture of the actors standing in the center um, doing their, in their costumes, but then uh, pictures of the audience around them, mm -hmm. and then the teachers around them and the school walls around them and then outside the the whole community around the school right um which uh i i said oh this is a whole different sense of the, of the theater you what know did you, what did you learn from the because uh, you must have had a lot of contact with the first nations community in uh, regina and what were some of the things that well, you know, that it taught you as, a, as an artist? or We didn't, um, unfortunately, didn't uh, do a, a lot of sort of hands-on work mm -hmm. uh, in any of the communities. Right. Um, I would go to the first uh, few performances of a play of mine mm -hmm. uh, to make sure that uh, it wasn't too far behind the audience. Right. Yeah. <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, so and if there needed to be any adjustments that they could be made. Uh, so so um, we went to a lot of communities and experienced, uh, as, uh, experienced what they d did and, mm -hmm. and who they were. Um, we went to um, uh, Isla Cross, which is way up. Uh, we had to go to uh, we had to go to uh, Edmonton and fly into that community. It's a Métis community, oh, really? wow. um, and uh, uh, that's where uh, Louis Riel's sister came from. Oh, wow. uh, okay. Ended up, yeah. yeah. Um, I had other experiences like. Uh, going to uh, Yellowknife for uh, uh, for uh, for reading week and uh, going to uh, uh, Labrador uh, mm -hmm. for uh, festivals and things like that, and workshops and uh, mm -hmm. flying into uh, into a small community. Uh, that was that was fun. Mm -hmm. uh, they told me each of the people in the uh, in the festival was 
had an assignment to go out to an outport. Okay. Uh, so we flew, uh, they said, where are you going? Uh, I said, I'm supposed to go to a place called Black Tickle. And um, uh, they said, oh, Black Tickle. You know, sometimes you go to Black Tickle and, and the weather comes in and you never get out. <laughs> <laughs> Very comforting. <laughs> that very, was very comforting. So I got on the plane. Well, maybe if you'd ever get out. But um, yeah, uh, so uh, uh, those were kind of communities that uh, mm -hmm. you get a chance to visit when you're doing this kind of work. Mm -hmm. But um, but I never did the thing that uh, some. Uh, theater artists get to do is to go and work intensively right. in a in a community like that. But even from audiences, you know, yeah. was there, was there, did you sense that there was a difference in the audience between the uh, First Nations uh, youth and uh, Well, and uh, just the, the one that I told you about, mm -hmm. uh, sometimes they were quieter mm -hmm. yeah. uh, to have these people come in and uh, I notice yeah. that sometimes they're really, they're sometimes really appreciative and, and uh, uh, appreciation for storytelling and for, yeah. for, for theater. And they're very, uh, yeah. the, the yeah. communities that I've been to have been very, very appreciative. Yeah. 